Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back, of course, to Rule of Two Review, the most momentous day. The day that we have been counting down to for two years, probably, since we heard about the NX way back in the day. You know what day it is. You know what I'm about to do and show you. And it's this lovely, beautiful thing right here. Look at that. A Switch controller in my hand with Legend of Zelda. Breath of the MF and Wild on it. That's my man, Link. Look at that. Oh, it's so great. I could just do this forever. So I'm not just going to sit here and just show this thing off for you. But I can't believe you guys that it's real. It's in my hands. It is in my hands. And hopefully it's in a lot of your guys' hands as well. So what are we going to talk about? There's so much to talk about, you guys. It's Friday, March 3rd. It's the official launch of Nintendo's new console. I've been talking about it for months. I've been talking about it for a year. Every YouTuber who knows their stuff on the internet has been talking about it. You've been talking about it. We've all been waiting. And holy freaking crap you guys it's so fantastic so the system launched at midnight last night myself my girlfriend and my two friends who also reserved my switch for me as you guys probably know i've told that story my work buddy and his wife we went to our gamestop we waited we hung out we bs'd with other people we i made sure to pick up the pro controller i didn't think i was going to but once they said they had one i was like okay i'm gonna get one and you know picked up my zelda gonna download some fast remakes pretty soon here and just been doing the thing, man. So I've been playing Zelda for a couple of hours, playing with my Switch. My girlfriend had a chance to see it. Uh, I did actually film an unboxing with my girlfriend, which I talked about wanting to do. And I don't know that it really turned out as good as I was really hoping or that we really wanted it to. And so I'm going to take a look at it and see if it's worth posting. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like there's so many unboxings. My girlfriend was very excited to get on camera and do it. So that's part of the reason I want to get it posted. But I just don't know. Regardless of the unboxing, it's the Switch. It's here. These freaking Joy-Cons, they're in my hand, finally. Like I said, well, not finally, because of course I played it in uh, New York in January, but now it's in my hands in my living room, or in my gaming room, I should say, in my house, my own actual Joy-Cons and it's just the best thing ever. So really all I wanted to do with this video is just give a quick couple minutes discussing my initial impressions of my own Switch in my house, give you guys a chance who might already have your Switches as well if you picked it up at midnight to discuss in the comments what you think about your Switch and also to discuss some of my time with Zelda. So the console, it's fantastic. It's so sleek and it just is so quality. The Joy-Cons, actually having them and having a chance to sit down with them on my couch as opposed to in the crazy setting that was New York with a bunch of people running around in media and other gamers and people demoing all the units and talking about the games and Nintendo employees. That was a wonderful experience and an incredible environment, of course, especially before the console launched to be able to be there. But it's not the same as like sitting down with your own, you know, system and controllers and stuff that you paid for with your money in your own environment. For me, having, you know, my partner right next to me and just being excited and geeking out over this at the same time. That's a special experience, man. That's so very different. And I'm so impressed with it. The setup is so remarkably easy. A lot of you guys hopefully have seen Nintendo's video about the first time use and setting it up and picking your language and your time zone and getting these initial system update to go. It's so easy and this freaking update took 15 freaking seconds, I think. And then it had to reboot the console and that only took another 15 seconds. I mean, it really was an incredibly sleek and fast and like brainless experience. So Nintendo really, really worked to make this thing as efficient and quick as possible. They streamlined this whole process and it really does not like I want to disparage like the PS4, Xbox One, because I do love those systems, but when comparing what this new Nintendo console does, now released three years after those consoles, it puts them to shame. Didn't have to install Zelda, didn't have to install my game, didn't have to download, you know, even a 30 minute or a one hour patch, forget the four hour Wii U patch, just to download what you need for the Xbox One or PS4 takes a little bit of time, half an hour to an hour or so. This took less than one minute, less than 60 seconds to get this thing up and running, which includes a full system reboot. So obviously we know Nintendo worked really hard to make this an efficient little machine, and so far it's shown off. The UI is very simple. We all know about the icons that let you do the news, the eShop, the album, the settings, all these different things. It's so perfect for today's society. The touchscreen, of course, works great for navigating through all of that stuff. And it's like, you just you just know what you're looking at, you know what you've got as soon as you've got it, and you're checking it out. 
I've played Zelda so far, like I said, a couple of hours, almost primarily on my TV. Um, we were just messing around with it. My girlfriend's getting ready for work. I, of course, have a couple of days off to just switch out like a dork. And so we were just playing it and letting her mess with it on the screen. And it just reminds me how beautiful it looks when it's running on this screen. This screen, 720 or not, is gorgeous. And what I like about it is having a game, <clears throat> excuse me, having a game like Zelda, it's so huge and vast and finely detailed visually, like, when you play a game like that on this screen and you realize you can see everything you want to see, you can make out every single little possible detail you want to make out, <clears throat> you can hear everything you want to hear, and it's perfect on this screen because of the vibrancy and the quality and what 720 looks like when it's on a 6.2 inch screen, there's nothing that I don't think that this thing could do visually. You know, it's like the the, the graphics processor and the, and the computing processor determines the visuals, but the best graphics that this system can pump out will look gorgeous on this 6.2 inch screen, and that's a pretty huge achievement. But what about Zelda, you ask? Well, Zelda is incredible. It's really everything I think that we could want. And it's like, I'm trying to not tell myself I'm playing the best game ever made, or I'm playing my favorite Zelda. It's like, we need time, I need time, I should say, to really put that in perspective. And I have to keep reminding myself that because as I'm playing this game, it feels like the best game ever made. And it feels like the best Zelda. And for anyone who is familiar with me, you know I have a love for The Wind Waker. It's my favorite Zelda, and it's probably my third favorite game of all time. So The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, not just the HD remake on the Wii U, but also the original 2003 GameCube release, it's like my third favorite game of all time. So it's like, I'm playing Breath of the Wild now, this brand new Zelda in 2017, and it's like my excitement is just so palpable. It's like I'm tingling with how excited and giddy I am every time I play this game and run around the world and start fighting Bokoblins and doing the thing. And it's like, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm playing a game that's better than The Wind Waker. And it's like, okay, Rob, slow down. Just calm down. You've only played this game for three hours. You've known of The Wind Waker for like 15 years. So it's not really a fair comparison. I feel like I, ne I need to get all the way through Breath of the Wild, which will probably take me a month or so. And then give that, you know, anywhere from six months to a year reflection time, maybe play through it again or whatever, and really then compare it. Initially... I'm playing what feels like the best freaking game ever created since video games were a thing. And it's a crazy statement, and I know the reviews are saying that, and it's like I'm trying not to just fall into the hype and, and, the, and the perspective of, it's new, it's fresh, everyone loves it, and I finally have it, so I think it's the best ever. I'm trying not to be so, like, blindsided by the excitement, but it certainly does feel like it's the best game ever. But, you know, a game that takes anywhere from 50 to 100 hours to beat, and I've played three hours, it's obviously too early for me to say that. But obviously my excitement hopefully is getting across to you guys how great I think this is. I know a lot of you guys are playing it, hopefully on your Switches, maybe on your Wii U. A lot of people still waiting for theirs to show up or had to, you know, they couldn't pick it up at midnight because their store wasn't doing a midnight. So by the time you guys watch this, a lot of people won't have played it, but a lot of you guys will have played it. And so I'm really curious to hear what you think about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and of course what you think about the Switch. Oh my gosh, it's so fantastic. I just, I keep looking over and I see it just sitting here and I can hear the music playing and I just want to pick it up and just kind of rub it and just like snuggle with it and be like, I love you, my precious, my precious new Nintendo console. It's so crazy. And Zelda, man, freaking Zelda. It's delivering on all fronts. Just... Just existing in the world of Hyrule, as soon as you turn the game on, you take five minutes to get out of the shrine thing, and then uh, the, the sleep chamber, sorry, and then you're out in the world, and you're like, this is an organic, living, breathing world. Which is obviously in something that they were trying to encompass, that concept with the title Breath of the Wild. And so far, it feels like that. I'll be really curious to see if Breath of the Wild also translates to something else more story-relevant, because typically that's what... That's what all the Zelda titles are about, um, like the Harry Potter kind of thing. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets because there's a Chamber of Secrets. And the Ocarina of Time because there was an Ocarina of Time and all these things. And uh, Legend of Zelda and the Staff of No Real Significance. High five if you know that reference. So it'll be interesting to see if there's something about the title that actually you know, makes sense in context with the story or Link's adventure, or if it's really just a fancy name because of the way the world works and how rich and vibrant and organic it actually feels. So I don't know, you guys, that's pretty much it, you know, just sitting here geeking out with all my Switch stuff 
and with the Legend of Zelda Pro Controller in effect, really fantastic. Loving the Joy-Cons though, man. I'm telling you, even in the grip, I'm, I'm really, really happy with those things. And yes, I experienced them a month and a half ago, and I knew that they were great back in New York, and I'm just re being reminded of how great they are now. And I, I'll stand by what I said in a video a couple of weeks ago too. The Pro Controller is the ideal way to play any real game that doesn't require Joy-Con specific functionality. But the Joy-Cons and the Joy-Cons in the grip, man, you can play the system this way. So anyone who still hasn't picked it up or is trying to find one and isn't sure what they need to buy, if you've got the money to easily spend and you can find a Pro Controller, buy a Pro Controller. But if you A, don't have the money, or you B, just can't find one, don't even worry. If you find a Switch, you've got the grip and the Joy-Cons, and you've got everything you need to play the Switch, just like you could with a Pro Controller. So I don't want anyone to lose their minds thinking, oh my god, I can't find a Pro Controller, or my Switch experience is screwed. It's really not. The Joy-Cons get it done, man. But I'm really excited to see what the Joy-Cons turn into later on in the Switch's life. And I'm going to make a video about that next, I think, discussing, I think, how Nintendo and the video game industry are going to make the Joy-Cons successful and what they need to do to make them successful so look out for that i think it's going to be a really interesting conversation that a lot of you guys will like and i have a lot of things to discuss when it comes to the joy con so but regardless i'm going to end this now so i can shut up and just start keep playing my zelda on my tv and freaking out i've got six freaking days of non-stop zelda action and logan tonight we're going to see logan tonight so that'll be my biggest break from playing zelda but oh and band practice but other than those two things, I'll be playing Zelda until my eyes bleed, like I said, and some fast remix, probably get some snipper clips, so, you guys, it's here, man, it's upon us, this beautiful, sexy bitch right here is finally on us, so let's get out of here, I just want to just play with it and keep touching buttons, oh, Link, I love you, oh my gosh, it's so fantastic, I'm so, such a dork. Anyway, we finally got it, you guys. It feels really fantastic. Thank you, Nintendo, for making a brand new console and a brand new Zelda and all this new stuff you're getting ready to unload on us. As Nintendo fans and just video game dorks, it just makes life so much more exciting, man. It just it just does, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So I'm loving my Switch and Zelda Breath of the Wild. Are you guys loving your Switch and Zelda Breath of the Wild? And maybe Bomberman or 1-2-Switch, whatever else um, it is that you might have. Do you have your Switch and Zelda? If so, what do you think about it? Talk about it below. If not, hopefully you have a chance to get one soon if you're interested in it so that's gonna be it for now guys i'm getting my ass back to zelda i gotta get into hyrule and start slaying some bastards out there so thanks of course for tuning in this is rob of rulu 2 review happy switch miss as the internet loves to call it enjoy your switches you guys and i'll see you guys next time on another video